<clears throat> so as I promised last night, so some of us are doing the Meditation 101 together on Thursday evenings. And um, I personally, when I was looking into doing it, found it actually quite helpful and interesting. So if you don't mind, what I'd like to do for November is the meditations that we're doing in 101. And it just kind of helps us go a little bit back to the beginning, which we have done before, but it just kind of helps to hone our own personal skills. And it, these meditations are so simple, they're something that we can kind of practice easily on our own and um, helpful to practice on our own. So let's just get started. Let's settle into our meditation posture. And, uh, you know, as we've been doing, check your where your legs are. And if they are on the ground, uh, in uh, if you're sitting at a desk and they're on the feet or on the floor, make sure they're hips width apart, sits bones are raised, hands in the meditation mudra or on your thighs or in any other kind of mudra if you've learned somewhere else. So basically, just put your hands where you're comfortable. <clears throat> Shoulders are aligned with the hips. And just imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. Imagine someone's very gently lengthening your spine. So really feel all the muscles, feel the vertebrae, let, you know, um, some space in between those discs, just expand. Shoulders aligned with the hips, ears aligned with the shoulders as much as you can. Head very slightly tipped forward, eyes down, tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth, and relax the jaw. Now let's just scan our body as we've been doing, just starting at the crown of the head and just move down, face, back of the head, jaw, tongue, neck, shoulders, shoulder blades, and then the front body, then your limbs. And bring the mind to the breath. breath. And just notice the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. It's just flowing in through the outside of the nostrils. And you might notice the air as it moves the tiny, tiny hairs inside the nostrils, but or not. Just notice that sensation. Take note of it. And then if there's any sound in your environment, just let those sounds go, allow them to be there. And then notice what's arising in your mind. And allow it. Try not to judge, criticize. Just be aware of what's going on there. Keeping the mind on the breath. Have some awareness. Have awareness of the sounds. Try not to follow them. Have awareness of your thoughts. Try not to follow them. So in this first three minutes, in this settling, we have experienced Two forms of meditation, concentration and mindfulness. Concentration, zeroing in on the sensations, the very, very fine sensations, the base of the nose or the outside of the nostril. And a little bit of a broader spotlight, being aware of our surroundings, being aware of what's in our mind. So the purpose of meditation is to become more familiar with 
the positive qualities within ourselves. Well, Tibetan is the word kom, to, fil- to familiarize, to familiarize with what? Who we really are. So this is what we'll be doing today. We'll be doing these uh, meditations, these exercises to develop these both of these skills of concentration and mindfulness. And both these skills, although they sound like they might be a little bit opposite to each other, they're both necessary for meditation, particularly the more advanced. But before that, let's just bring to mind all the people of our life, people we love, people that we love deeply, people our beloveds, our spouses, children, colleagues, friends, and then those people who are a little more difficult for us. And then those people who, well, they're just strangers. Bearing in mind they all can change place at any time, the friend, the stranger, the not-so-much friend. Regardless of this, they all have themselves, mothers, children, sisters, brothers, loved ones, no matter how we see them, They all have their own relationships. So they're all equal. We're all equal. This wish to be happy, the wish to be free from suffering, and this incredible capacity for this enlightened mind. So I think we'll do these meditations this morning for the benefit of all these people of our life, and by extension, all sentient beings. So we'll just do one round of the nine round breathing. Again, just to remind everybody, um, when we breathe, first we'll start by breathing in through the right nostril, breathing out through the left, uh, all our attachment, desire, breathing out through the right, the next one, all our anger, energy, and then through both nostrils, all our ignorance. So we'll do three, uh, so just one set of three for each. I hope that makes sense. If it does not make sense, please put your hand up. Okay.
So this alternate nostril breathing or nine round breathing is something that we can do pretty much any time just to settle our mind. The trick is to actually remember that this is uh, part of our toolkit. So when they're in the middle of a panic or in the middle of some big emotion, probably the safest thing to do would be just to kind of remove ourselves and go and just sit quietly and do some alternate nostril breathing, some nine round breathing. That would definitely bring all the emotion down. It's very, very helpful. So keep that one up your sleeve. So now, check your posture again, lengthen the spine, and bring your attention specifically at to the opening of your nostrils. So for some people, you might be noticing the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling at the base of the nose, at the middle of the nose, the nostrils, or at the tip of the nose. So just notice where it is for you. So each time the air passes in and out, you might notice the subtle sensations of those little tiny hairs feeling coolness as you're inhaling and warmth as you exhale. It's not necessary to follow the breath into the body or to the outside environment. Just focus on the subtle sensations at the opening of your nostrils. And we'll do this for three minutes.
So now, <clears throat> excuse me, we want to keep our attention, our focus, sort of like laser sharp on the sensations of the air blowing in and out of the nostrils. So on our breath, but you want to keep your focus on the outside of the nostrils as the breath comes in and out. So what we're going to do as we breathe in and out, we're going to count every inhalation, inhalation and exhalation. So one, breathe in, breathe out. Two, breathe in, breathe out. Three, breathe in, breathe out. And as you're counting, you may notice your mind has become distracted. So don't worry. Just take note of what's happening or where you've gone. And then bring your attention back to watching the breath. And you start again, go back to counting to one. In, breath, out breath two, in breath, out breath, and you just keep going, and what you'll notice after you've been doing this for a while, is that you're actually able to get um, higher numbers, but to start, you might be one, two, three, and then you've realized your mind's gone, just keep coming, bringing it back over and over again, it's just like learning how to ride a bike, it takes time, concentration, So we'll do this for just five minutes. The aim is to see if you can get up to 10, um, but that, that might take a little while. If we really, also be really honest with yourself, Really try and keep an eye on when you have, your mind has actually wandered off. So really keeping a laser focus.
So these subtle sensations are very small object of focus. This is quite different from focusing our attention on sensations in our head, for example, or various sensations that one might be feeling in our head. And by focusing our attention on these very small, subtle sensations at the opening of the nostrils, it's like taking a spotlight <clears throat> and focusing a beam. So it's something very precise and refined. It helps us to develop concentration. So the larger the object of our attention, the fuzzier is our attention. It becomes broader. So this is why we choose small refined objects, subtle objects, as the objects of concentration and focus in meditation. So next we think about mindfulness. Oh, and one more thing about concentration, it's really you're developing the ability to focus single-pointedly on one object without being distracted. <clears throat> so this next meditation is called Bear Attention. It's a very simple mindfulness meditation to help us to develop the skill of mindfulness, of wakefulness, of being aware of what's happening, when it's happening. So first of all, we'll start again by focusing on those subtle sensations at the opening of the nostrils. Make this your base point, something to hold your mind onto, like an anchor. At the same time, allowing yourself to take in and to be aware of whatever is going on around you. What's in your awareness? What, what are you hearing? What are you smelling? What are you thinking? It's slightly different to counting the breaths. In counting the breaths, we exclusively focused on the subtle sensations as we inhale and exhale. And that enabled the mind to remain fixed. Here we loosen slightly our concentration our focus, so our mindfulness can be aware of anything that's arising within its sphere of consciousness. So again, readjust your position if you need to, lengthen your spine, focus your attention at the opening, opening of your nostrils, and those subtle sensations as we breathe in and out, and just let yourself breathe naturally as before. No counting. Now using the nostrils as an anchor point for your mind, a subtle focal point, loosen your concentration just slightly, not a lot. And while continuing to focus on the breath, be aware of whatever is arising in your mind, and whatever is arising in your sphere of awareness, your environment. You may become aware of sensations in the body. If you do, just note them. We'll come back to the breath. You may also become aware of sounds, just note them, allow them to be there, bring the mind back to the breath. Then thoughts or images may arise in the mind, don't get involved with the movie, just take note of a thought or an image that has arisen, take note with curiosity, let it pass and return to the breath. 
So we'll do this for three minutes. Okay, everybody, just relax. Let's just dedicate uh, all the positive energy we've created this morning doing these meditations together for all those people of your life, by extension, all sentient beings, and for ourselves as we're moving along our spiritual path. Okay. Harry, thank you for hosting. Thank you, Coral. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Shayla, Barbara. Karen, Elizabeth, Lorraine, Bobby, Cameron, Hin, and sorry, S. Draper, I've forgotten your name again. <laughs> sorry. You're muted. Muted. I mean, yeah, Sheila. I don't Sheila. know how to change my name. I've changed it before and then it goes back to that. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry for sorry. forgetting. No. She, no worries. All right, Sheila, yeah, thank you. Bye bye, everyone. See some of you tonight. Lots of love. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Venerable Kitty. Bye. Thank, thank you, Venerable. Bye.